Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Project 78. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different on the car. We're gonna be installing a new head unit and it's gonna to go to Android. Uh, right now, there's a Pioneer head unit that's been in there for probably 25 years. It was installed by myself a long, long time ago. Back in the 90s, back when there were cassettes. That's right, it's a cassette deck and that thing has been in there for a very long time. I also bought some three and a halfs, Kenwood three and a half speakers that's gonna go in the front grills. The front grills of this car, they haven't had speakers installed in them in over 20 years. So it's going to be a welcome install. I can't wait to get this thing done. Uh, I'm not going to do a full review on this. There's plenty of reviews on these stereos. Uh, this is one that has a 10 and a half inch monitor. Uh, it rotates and, and it kind of positions itself, which I thought was a really good application for this car. What Am I going to like it? I don't know. But we're going to install it. I can always remove it, do something else. But uh, let's get started. This is what we're working with here. This guy, originally, this whole face plate in the 78s looked like this. I have a spare plate here. It has the two knobs. It had like a push button radio in here. Um, obviously, the single, the full single DIN is not going to work in this application. So uh, I ended up cutting out the whole thing so we could fit this newer style stereo. And I say newer, uh, back in the 90s, the, this style came out, I believe and uh, required the, the whole thing to be cut out. And these screws are not original to the car either. There was a metal plate that was behind this, this whole wood grain plate uh, to support the weight of the stereo. That didn't work either, so I had to take that out because of the way this installed, it has to stall in front of the plate. So we may find ourselves having to create a new metal plate to support that Android, um, support the Android screen because I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of weight out here and it's gonna pull a lot on this. So we may find ourselves doing a little bit of extra work here. Now, I don't know what we're gonna find behind here. I don't remember what I did. It was a long time ago since I pulled this plate. We're probably gonna find a lot of cob job, wire nuts and things like that. Uh, we're gonna find out. This used to be a lighter. It's no longer a lighter. It's just for show. It doesn't work. We used to use that for a 12 volt port. Got it. Nice. Look at this mess. Gonna be some vacuuming here. It's like an old block I had in there to hold up the stereo. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, like I thought, there's definitely wire nuts here. Wire nuts. There's your speaker connections. And I used to have an amp in here a long, long time ago. These RCAs went back to an amp. I think that these cables run all the way back to the trunk. So that's an option if I ever want to add. At least the wires and cables are already there. All right. So I'm going to disconnect all this stuff and vacuum this out. Also, I forgot to mention another thing I'm going to do is I have LEDs. Uh, that I've placed throughout the whole dashboard. And this heater control has the LEDs in there as well. 
and what I'm going to do is put those in there so the, the lights match. It's a brighter light. Get your better look uh, at that, what I'm looking at in here. Uh, here's your antenna. And there's the RCAs that go back to the amp, or used to go back to the amp. These, these cables run back to the trunk. I know they do. Where they are, I don't know to find them. Uh, I got some fuses in here, some wire nuts. Like I said, that, that taps onto the power. I know there's a switch 12 volts, and there, as well as a constant 12 volts here. Don't remember which one is which. I'll have to pull the meter out, do some testing here, and clean this stuff up. I'm going to run the vacuum through here. There's a bunch of, there's just a bunch of dust and dirt. So there's going to be some cleanup to do here. Okay, stereo is out. Um, you're gonna see here a lot of wires just hanging here. I don't know, <laughs> I don't trust myself in what I did uh, that long ago. So I'm gonna go back through and ring all these wires out. There are some speaker wires here. There's obviously four pairs, uh, two fronts, two rears. Uh, I did find the switch 12 volts and I did find the constant 12 volts. So that's half the battle. Uh, there's a couple wires here in here. I, I'm not exactly sure what they go to, but overall pretty simple. I mean, again, it's 1978, so. There's really not too much to this. And now that I've got this on the bench, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. How I had to cut out this section to fit this style stereo. And you can see that the faceplate is bent from the weight being on it. And this new guy with the screen is definitely going to put more pressure on this thing. So in the, in the back here, I'm going to line this with some steel. I've got some thin gauge steel plate. That I'm going to cut to shape to help support the new stereo. It's going to have to be a better design. All right, we're going to get this thing unboxed. And see, here's your head unit. Got our screen here. The mount in the back is going to mount to the head unit here. So I'm taking this out. I want to see how this is going to fit in this cutout that I made and how I'm going to have to cut the steel. Okay. I think it's going to mount very similar to the way it was. So kind of like what I was talking about is that this does mount right in there. It looks good. But again, all the weight of this screen hanging out here is going to put a lot of pressure on this plastic plate. So thinking of cutting a piece of metal to shape it inside of here, but then somehow it has to mount to the car. It's going to be a little tricky. All right, this should work. I'm going to go with the original setup with the way I had it. Line it with steel in the back and use the, use the screws again. Bolt everything in. I think we're going to be okay. Let's hope. All right. So what I'm going to do, I got to trim these knobs off here. These knobs might have been there to line up the old bracket. So I'm going to get my Dremel out. And then we're going to use a cardboard to, uh, we're going to use some cardboard to get a template cut out. So then I can cut my plate steel to fit in that slot.
Perfect. Okay, so we've got the metal plate cut, and that's going to fall right into the back of the stereo faceplate. That's going to fit nice in there. So now all we got to do is we got to trace out, obviously, to fit our single din. And we're going to make that cut next. guys perfect all right everybody so we've got the new stereo head unit mounted into the faceplate uh, we've got the steel mounted back there we definitely did not follow the instructions because we're trying to adapt something uh, that's almost 40 years old into something that's was made last year so uh, this is definitely gonna work and it's going to add provide uh, added support here for that that monitor that's going to clip to the front of this thing. Nice new bright light. I'll put those back in a okay. All right, guys. So I know I told you earlier I'll, there was a couple wires here. I wasn't sure what they were. Uh, there's, they come from the dimmer switch for the headlights. The black one is a ground, and the gray one is from the dimmer. Um, so that's for your light source for the stereo, but the stereo has its own light source with the 12 volts. So that's why these two aren't used. That's all that is. So these are capped off and they're just going to be left back there. So now really all that's left to do is to identify which speaker is which. And we're going to, we're going to wire this thing in. Okay. We're going to mount our front speakers before I get too much further. It'll be a good opportunity to figure out what colors go where uh, and kind of verify that. I got the front grill off on the left side and the front left wires are tan and gray, gray being ground, tan being the positive side. So we're gonna go through and mount these two speakers in the front and I'm gonna write down the colors. So I pulled the front grill on the right side in the dash and there was a speaker in here. Uh, I didn't know that, <laughs> um, but look at it, it's, it's just completely, disintegrated so obviously this one's being replaced wasn't even wired okay front speakers are installed and we've got all these wires identified so I'm gonna start going through and making terminations so I'm not gonna bore you with the logistics I'm just gonna get going on it
right, folks, head unit is installed. So took a little bit, got all the terminations done. I'm uh, just going to clean this area up a bit and snap in the monitor. And we're going to go.